My name is Georgina Ascroft and I'm a member of the Society for Antiquaries and an MA student here at Newcastle University. This tiny, very unassuming object is actually very important for the history of our local area. It's one of the earliest examples of Anglo-Saxon remains in Tyneside. Although it's missing its tongue and its loop, we can still tell that this is an early 7th century or late 6th century belt buckle from an Anglo-Saxon burial. It was found in what is believed to be a kist burial in 1822 by some local antiquarians. It was misidentified for over 100 years until the early 20th century when it was recognised for what it was, an Anglo-Saxon belt buckle. Nothing but this buckle survives from the burial. It's likely that the body was buried with other grave goods, such as knives and personal objects. However, it's likely these were looted at the time. The burial is located in a place called Bolden, not far from Newcastle. In Old English, the place name means rounded hill or homestead on the hill. And it's an example of very early Ang Anglian place name, which makes sense given this burial is so close by. Although archaeologists have never found traces of a settlement in this area, it is likely that somewhere underneath the soil there is evidence of further settlement here. Sometimes very important Anglo-Saxon people were buried outside, away from the rest of the community. Could the individual that wore this buckle be one of those high-ranking individuals? A warrior, a tribal leader, or a wise woman? Superficially, this buckle is quite similar to a lot of other Anglo-Saxon personal ornaments. It's made of copper alloy or bronze, and it displays garnets and cloisonné work as decoration. However, in the context of Northumbria and the Bernician Kingdom, it's totally unlike anything we've ever seen before. Other burials from the region, such as the Royal Palace at Yevering or the cemeteries at Jarrow and Monk Wearmouth, show that most people were buried with very few grave goods, even the early burials. And most objects that are with those bodies are made of iron rather than bronze and with garnets is to be utterly unheard of. It makes you wonder, who would have worn this buckle and why? <laughs>